Hi, in today's video I'm going to show you how to block the annoying pop-ups you get on Google and YouTube in the EU asking you to accept the cookies. So I'll show you what the problem is and then I'll show you the solution. What I'm going to do is be using a add-on called Tampa Monkey. So I'm going to search for Tampa Monkey in um, Google and you'll see when I start what happens is before you continue do you want to accept all these cookies? And the annoying thing is I set my browser to um, get rid of all my cookies when I clear fire, when I close Firefox. So every time I start up Firefox and I want to use Google, I get this really annoying message. Same thing on YouTube. If I go to YouTube, before you continue to YouTube, accept all. And that's really, really annoying. This happens every time I start up Firefox and it's just because I clear all my data. So what I'm gonna do is show you the fix for this. So I showed you this in a private window. Now what I'm gonna do is switch back to a normal window where the Tampa Monkey extension is running. And what Tampa Monkey does is it actually injects JavaScript into the page and this allows us to actually clear the, those pop-ups. So what I'm going to do is search on Google, Tampa, Tampa Monkey, and you'll see no pop-up. So that's great. And now you'll notice we've got the white theme here. If I refresh the page a couple of times, it will actually pick up my dark mode. So sometimes you've got to do this a couple of times and it will eventually pick up the dark mode. So you can see there, the dark mode's working and we've got no pop-up. So let's come across to YouTube. Give it a second. There we go. No pop up. Wonderful. So that's what we want. So how do we do it? Let me just have some tea. So first step. Come across to your settings here. Go to add ons and themes and search for Amper. Monkey. Right. I've already got this installed, so just click the install button. Once you've done that, you'll see it sort of listed in your extensions and you'll see it listed uh, as an icon up here. So what we're going to do is come across and go to the dashboard. And what you'll see is I've actually got two user scripts installed, one for Google and one for YouTube. So if I come across to this one, so this is a script um, by a guy called Jonas that I found on Super User, I think it was. And basically what this does is you can see here, there's this sort of block of code and what it's doing is it's selecting the inner HTML, which is this div aria modal. And that is the name of the div that pops up. That's the um, sort of pop up consent thing that comes up on Google. So that's the first thing. What it's doing here is it's saying, I'm setting that to um, display none important. And then what this does, this section down here, it sort of searches for cookies and um, uh, sort of pending yes. Um, and then search for stuff only on Google. And I think what it does is basically it automatically accepts the uh, the pop-up so you don't have to do it manually. I think that's how it works. So if I come back to um, this one here, avoid YouTube. Basically what I've done is I've just copied the um, the Google pop-up um, by Jonas and just modified two little bits here. So <coughs> the name of the div that pops up on YouTube is actually dialogue. And the domain is obviously YouTube. So that's all I've changed. So those are two things I've changed. So all you need to actually do is come in here and you go to your um, this section here and I think you do is it plus. Okay, you just get the plus button and this is where you do new user script. So basically all you need to do is actually paste in the code for those and then you come across and you do save. So once you've done that, you'll have these two um, scripts installed and you see nice little icons. Um, 
you can edit them, you can remove them, you can enable them, and disable them. And when you're actually on the site, what you'll you'll see is in the Tampa Monkey menu, you'll see um, Tampa Monkey's enabled and the actual script that is uh, running on this domain uh, will be listed here and you can toggle it on and off. So at the moment I've got um, Tampa Monkey just running in um, normal windows, not in private windows. So that's why if I come back across, um, open the private window up again and search for uh, Tampa Monkey, and I should get the pop-up again. Yep, so see I'm getting the pop-up. Um, go to YouTube in the private window, and it should come up with the pop-up again. Yep, there we go, the pop-ups. So that's what we're trying to fix, and that's how we fixed it with Tampa Monkey, um, just by installing the extension, pasting a couple of bits of code in, and um, does the job. So let me just show you that again. So Firefox, normal window, come across here, Tampa Monkey. Give it a second and you see no annoying pop-up, which is great, means I don't have to click accept all every time I open up Google, um, which is just really, really annoying. And the same thing for YouTube. And just need to give it a second and as you'll see it basically um, deals with that pop-up issue we get um, which is just really irritating and this this really um, is annoying if you set your browser to clear all data um, when you close it um, remove all cookies that sort of thing so if I come across to my settings um, uh, privacy and security delete cookies and site data when Firefox is closed. So because I have that enabled, every time I start up um, Firefox, well, every time I close Firefox, it gets rid of all the cookies. And so that's why I get those annoying pop-ups with uh, Google and YouTube in the EU. There's something that really bugged me. Uh, there might be a way to do it with CSS, but um, Tampa Monkey is a nice extension. Um, and you do need to know a bit of JavaScript to actually play around with it. But, you know, I just took an existing uh, script, made two changes and got it working on YouTube. So big up um, Jonas for um, coming up with this little script. And again, if I open, because this isn't running in the private window, if I um, copy this and go to YouTube in the private window, And there you go, give it a second, you'll see that comes up. So what I'm going to do is just come across to my um uh hang on, hang on a sec. Let me come across to my GitHub page. Okay. And I've put all these um scripts And notes up here, LM, NOP. I should just do search really. Tampa Monkey, there we go. So we've got the Tampa Monkey thing here. So here's the Tampa Monkey site. Here's the Tampa Monkey super user page. So just give it a second. Had to block the annoying um, block up um, before you continue pop up on Google. So this was from. Um, Jonas, you can see here, uh, it's actually got the URL is actually on Stack Overflow. Um, I actually removed this um, URL from the code because it was actually giving me an error saying it's not a proper URL. So um, if I come across there, I think the answer was originally on Stack Overflow but got reposted to Super. No, it just redirects to Super User for some reason. Um, but this is where I got the code from. Um, so I just basically copied this. You come across to your dashboard. And again, you just click new. And then as you can see, all we did was we just pasted this in. 
you just paste this in save it and um, we do that for sort of both of these uh, let me just come across here tamper monkey so i've got the the actual code in this org document but i also put the scripts in a tamper monkey dash js file here so i'll link to these directly so that you can just actually grab the code so i'll put these on the raw settings so what i'll do is i'll post the raw links here um like so okay so all you have to do come across copy that um let me just close these and um go, go into your um temple monkey settings if, okay dashboard new just come across copy that paste it in there save it do that for both of these and then you'll see you've got the installed user scripts and then when you go to youtube you'll see the little um, icon here showing you one script is running they show you the name of the script you can enable it and disable it so if i disable this uh, and refresh will it come up with the pop-up no it won't come up with the pop-up because i've already actually um it's it's already set the cookies um so i think it is actually setting the cookies it's just um dismissing the dialogue so if i come across to the um settings uh, privacy uh, cookies manage data yeah so you'll see here that the cookies are actually set youtube and google it's just it's kind of dismissing the um the dialogue for us so really nice and easy to um, set up and if you want to um, move the icons here what you need to do is um, just click on here and go customize toolbar and then you can actually drag the icon around and then click done so you need to right click up here do customize toolbar you can't i don't think you can actually drag them up here um, without doing customize toolbar but then let me just refresh this you can see we'll show you the script is actually running and you can sort of find new scripts and a note about this you should be extremely careful about the scripts that you um, run with tamper monkey as it is possible to inject malicious code um, using tamper monkey so you've got to be careful about um, the source of the script um, you're using and that you understand what it's doing so don't just blindly um, start using scripts you know do a bit of research on them um, to make sure they're safe um, and actually do what they're supposed to do and don't do anything uh, malicious so don't use anything with obscure um, you know hidden javascript code um, anything like that but this is really really useful because um, it's just something that really bugs me every time I start up Firefox um, after clearing the data to have to except all um you know on youtube and google um which are two of the sites i use the most so it's just something that really really bugged me again there may be a way to do do this with um css but the advantage um the advantages um is that you can only use um css in firefox um firefox has got user style sheets that allow you to override a site's css um but chromium based browsers don't not have that option so if you were using a css fix it would only work on firefox whereas using tamper monkey it will also work on um things like um google chrome or chromium or other chromium based browsers so i'll put links to all this under the video and i um, hope that helps and the one thing I wish this script would do, or if, if there was a script to do this, would be block all these annoying Mr. Beast videos, because all, uh, all these shorts and all these TikTok things, because seriously, I'm not eight years old. Um, I don't need to be seeing all this, <laughs> this crap, you know. Um, and also, if we could block all the royal footage, that would be another bonus, because we're going to have to put up with 10 days of national mourning. And we've, we've cancelled all the sport everything so the country's in the shit and it's going to grind to a halt for the next 10 days which 
oh, absolutely brilliant. So um, that's all for now, and I'll put links to all this under the video. So have a look at Tampa Monkey if you're not using it. It'll work on Firefox, um, Chromium-based browsers. Um, and there's a massive community of user scripts for different things. Um, but this is just something that's been bugging me for ages. And um, this is a nice, easy, quick fix that does the job. So that's all for now. And I'll put links to everything under the video.